If you're looking for an under 5,000 pound couples trailer with an outside kitchen and true queen bed, this 2022 Surveyor Legend by Forest River Model 202 RBLE may just be exactly what you're hunting for. Let's go take a look. Hey guys, it's Corey here with Custom RV in Amarillo, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna take a look at the ultra popular 2022 Surveyor Legend 202 RBLE. This particular unit, as we see it here today, comes in at 25 feet, one inches in overall length, and is gonna be 4,788 pounds unloaded. Now this is by far one of their most popular couples trailers for good reason. And this one has a bunch of big hitter features that a lot of people are looking for, such as an outside camp kitchen, a 60 by 80 inch true queen bed, which is really hard to find in this length and weight range that's not a Murphy bed. You've got Asdale sidewalls, a four stair heated underbelly, not just radiant heat, actual forced air heated underbelly, which is again, really hard to find. Taller sidewalls, um, the standard 15K AC, a big bathroom, the 12 volt refrigerator, and tons of storage, plus with surveyors, you know, build quality that they've been doing for a ton of years. Um, I get accused sometimes of being a little biased towards these guys because I actually own a Surveyor fifth wheel at home. And other than they quit making fifth wheels, their build quality has not changed since my family bought ours in 2009. So with that being said, we're gonna do an interior and exterior walk around video tour today. And we're gonna take a look at all of those features and show you all the ins and outs of this extremely popular couples camper. Let's go ahead and jump onto the inside and start with the living area. All right, guys, so we're on the inside of this 202 RBLE surveyor. And starting off in the living area proper, you can see you have a tri-fold sleeper sofa. Now, if we take a look at the video that will pop up, you can see what this looks like in sleeper mode. And the nice thing about it is it doesn't cut off the camper um, completely. So you can still squeeze back uh, to the bathroom and you can sleep two adults on there too. Now, if we look over here, you can see in the slide out, you have three big windows. The slide in windows open for airflow. The bigger one right there does not. And I just think that's funny that they, that they left that dinette light there. Um, Cause in this floor plan, you can either get the high to bed sofa, like we're seeing, you can get a booth dinette or you can get theater seats. And it's one of the very few of, of this floor plan because everybody and their brother makes this floor plan that offers all three. So I really like that they kind of let you pick your own adventure. But let me know down in the comment section, should I tell the manufacturer to go to a standard puck light if the sofa's there or should we leave this? Because I I guarantee you at some point when I'm showing this, I'm going to hit my head on that light or uh, or somebody is let me put it that way um so let me know down in the comment section down below if you like that or if you dislike that you can see you've got the amber accent lights up there above the slide out so it's not a blue or a white now if we go ahead over here and we take a seat at the sofa you can see you're directly across from the entertainment center so your tv over there it is on a swing arm mount and i believe that's a 30 two inch if i remember if i remember correctly you can also see on that cabinet there and if we kind of stand up over here and take a better look at it that is your am fm and bluetooth stereo system it does have hdmi and usb ports so if you do want to put like a roku stick or a fire tv stick or something or even just a cd dvd player you can easily add that now over here, we have what I like to call the breakfast bar. So you've got an elevated bar top with two bar stools. And this makes sense to me in a small couples camper because a lot of times you just get a dinette and you know, that's okay to sit at, but a lot of people um, really want 
to be able to sit down at a sofa or in theater seats and relax at the end of the day and watch, you know, if they're watching TV or whatever, not have to sit at a table. So this kind of gives you the best of both worlds. If you're going to sit in here and eat breakfast or lunch or dinner, you have the ability to be able to do that. So again, I really do like that. You are going to have cabinet ducted heating throughout here, so it's easy cleaning. And Surveyor goes a step further and they put a dedicated heat duct from the furnace into the underbelly. So you actually have forced air heat down there as well. You can see an electrical outlet and propane leak detector right over there. Now you can see right here that you do have a little bit of carpet. And starting at the end of this month, which is uh, if you're watching this later on, this was recorded on March 7th of 2022. But at the, at the tail end of March of this year, Surveyor is going completely carpetless. So you will not have any carpet in the slide outs. So if you have one of these ordered and you're waiting on it to come in, if it's gonna be built in April, you'll have completely carpetless uh, slides, which is super awesome. I'm really glad that they did that. Um, and if you appreciate the heads up on that, hit that like button, you know, put a comment down there that says, you know, something like, thanks for letting us know we have one of these ordered if you do, or, you know, just let us know if you appreciate the extra feedback and, and, you know, the information, even though that it's not pertaining to this particular camper. Now up top here, you do have a vent here. Now this is not a powered vent, but since the lights are so close, that would be easy to piggyback off of there and make that a power vent if you wanted to do that. You can see that you do have dual rows of LED lighting, and these trailers do not feel dark at all in here. Now we're looking at this air conditioner. It's a standard 15,000 BTU, and you're probably wondering, that looks a little different, and it is. The Surveyor product design team, for some reason, thought it would be a good idea to go ductless on their air conditioners for their 19 series, the 202, the 203, and the 240. And, you know, it's still the same size air conditioner they were using. I personally think it was a bad idea. Um, now, I'm sure somebody will, you know, like this. But let me know what you think. Do you prefer the ducted AC in a camper this size? Or would you prefer the non-centralized AC like this? Now, at least they did go with a higher quality or not, I don't think higher qualities, the, the, the more expensive ceiling assembly, this is a thermostatically controlled air conditioner. So you don't have the ceiling controls up here, which is nice. And your thermostat will be right over there for your AC and your heat. Now, as you can see over here, you, we just have a huge kitchen for a small trailer. Um, and speaking of that, Let's go ahead and dive right in, open up all this storage, and let's take a look at that, because I'm telling you, this has got a great kitchen for such a small trailer. Okay, guys, so starting off with the countertops. You have Surfex countertops. They're scratch, stain, and chip resistant. Now, they're a pressed membrane thermofoil style countertop, which is basically the lightweight solid surface. Right over here, you're gonna have USB and 110 volt outlets nice sized uh, spring-loaded sprayer faucet and you can see you have the one basin sink down below there. All cabinetry in a surveyor is going to be a pocket screwed lumber core cabinetry with a sticker wrap so if you feel back here you can feel that there's a screw going into each piece of wood which is really nice. Um, it's a better quality cabinet than say a stapled cabinetry. Um, there's nothing wrong with staple cabinetry, but this is the next step up from that. Now, if we drop down here, you can see that you do have another set of appliance outlets right there. Microwave and hood range vent. Now, you've got your three burner cooktop with the glass cover. So, this will flip up like so, give you access to your burners. You've got the blue lights. And then you can see you've got an oven down there in case you want to do some baking. Now, 
back here, if we take a look at this, this is a really neat feature they're doing. Of course, you've got the backsplash right here, and then you can see that you've got the knife block in the back of your oven, as well as this neat little utility cup, uh, surveyor branded uh, utensil holder, I guess is the correct word. Now, over here, you are going to have your solar charge controller, your Wi-Fi prep um, switch, and then you've got your all your slide-out awning and lighting controls right there. Now, if we look down, you can see you've got the Surveyor-branded bottle opener, three full-extension plywood box, ball-bearing drawer-guided drawers, And then if we open this cabinet here, you can see you've got pretty decent storage in there. And as you can see, it does go back there quite a ways, which is nice. Now you probably saw a little bit of light in there. Um, I have the outside kitchen open currently, so that's what you're seeing right there. Now as we spin back around this way, you're gonna have your 10.7 cubic foot nor cold DC compressor fridge. So there's your freezer portion. This will run off of the standard 80 watt solar panel that comes on these surveyors. So there is the refrigerator portion. But the neat thing on this one that not every single one of these has is you have an actual on and off switch, separate fridge and freezer temperature controls. And then you're gonna have this moon button which will slow the fan compressor speed down so for nighttime, which, because these can kind of be a little loud for some people um, when they're running, but these things cool off in an hour and a half, which is awesome. They also are fully travel safe, uh, which is nice. You can basically run them anywhere. You've got your breakers and fuses right there, and then you have this floor to ceiling pantry which is just awesome. They really utilize this space well compared to a couple years ago when this floor plan first came out. They didn't really have a good, um, good pantry space. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the bedroom area and we'll finish up with the bathroom. So up in the bedroom of the 202 RBLE, first thing I wanna talk about, this is a 60 by 80 true queen bed. So you can replace this with any mattress that you like. Queen sheets will actually fit it. It's a really nice feature. Now there is full storage under the bed and I will go ahead and raise this since this has the double shocks on it. So as you can see, you've got great storage space under there. Um, for, that's actually where the bar stools are supposed to um, ride when they're in transit. But personally, what I would do with those is get a strap and strap those down because um, you could easily put in a, a strap, you know, a, a mount here for a strap. That way they, um, you can leave them out and use that space for other stuff. So over here, you're gonna have household and USB outlets on both sides of the bed. Um, you've got a drawer on each side of the bed. And then you have Surveyor's famous super tall um, wardrobes. They were one of the very first in the industry to move their wardrobe closets further out so you have taller wardrobes. Now you can see that you do have cubby space up above with the cargo netting. Now people either love or hate it. Let me know how you feel about it down in the comment section down below. And then back in the back here, you can see you've got hidden storage back here. So you've got a cup holder and then that bottom section right there. And actually we'll show you on this side. So you've got hidden storage back here and there is 110 volt power back in there too. Plus you've got the front windshield, which is just gonna lend in a ton of natural light. And pardon my camera work as I get off the mattress here. 
But those cubby holes are super handy for um, CPAP machines, for phone chargers, for, um, I've seen people put their, um, now don't, don't hate on me for what I'm about to say, this is just what people have told me. Um, I've seen people put their, their side arms in there. Um, I've seen people use them as, you know, just for just about anything. And that's one of the things I really like about Surveyor is they, they actually go camping and they think of, of things that not every other manufacturer or engineer who's never been in one of these, you know, never camped before thinks of. So I really do like that, but that's going to do it for the bedroom. Let's go take a look at the bathroom. Cause I tell you, if you think, thought the rest of this trailer was good, the bathroom is not going to disappoint either. Okay guys, so stepping into the bathroom, first thing you'll notice great storage underneath the sink area there. You've got your tank monitoring panel as well as your water pump and water heater on gas and electric switches right there. GFI protected outlet. Nice linen cabinet space here. Um, for some reason they don't put doors on these. I haven't really heard an answer why. Um, really doesn't matter either way but that's what they do you're gonna have nice uh robe hooks or towel hooks right there a four inch what we call the fart fan up there you could always add a bigger fan if you did want to medicine cabinet and you're gonna have the toothbrush holders right there which is a really neat feature notice they're also doing a backsplash in the bathroom that's so handy um, nice big sink. You can actually fit adult sized hands in there. Good countertop space on both sides. There's good leg room in here. Porcelain foot flush lever toilet. I think I already said that, but you're also going to have a 30 by 36 inch shower. You, uh, you can see the two piece ABS shower surround. Nice big corner shelves that can actually fit shampoo bottles and things. And then you'll also notice you have a very uh, nice skylight. So you can be upwards of 6'5 and still shower in here comfortably since they have a 6 foot 9 inch sidewall, which is a little bit taller than a lot of the other competition that this competes with. And you can see you've got the slow close shower door. So with that being said, that's going to wrap it up for the interior of the 202 RBLE. Let me know what you think about this trailer, the, the inside, but let's go ahead now, jump onto the outside. Let's take a look at the features there. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this 2022 Surveyor Legend Model 202 RBLE. So first things first, you can see this is a fiberglass unit. You're going to have the uh, automotive grade windshield up on the front there. Power tongue jack is standard. You're also gonna have the safety chain hook or leash latch right there. Two 20 pound propane tanks. You're also over here going to have your seven way plug holder to keep that out of the mud and the snow and everything. Battery disconnect. And then you've got the rails for your battery right there as well. Diamond plate rock, rock guard. Apparently I can't talk today. Um, that will help protect against stone chips. You have four corner stabilizer jacks. They are manual. You can see you've got magnetic holdbacks for all of your baggage doors. This one will be a slam latch too, which is nice. Aluminum framing for the whole trailer. This is an aluminum cage constructed trailer. Double side welds on everything. Big baggage compartment here. Then you've got a motion sensor light here, as well as a uh, socket adapter for a cordless drill if you did want to use that for your stabilizer jacks. Again, slam latches. Now as we back up over here, you can see that you have a very nice size power awning that goes practically the whole length of the trailer. Two outside speakers and an amber porch light. That uh, awning is going to have LED light strips in there as well. Now, before we get to the outside kitchen, I do want to mention, again, this is a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. So it's forced air heated, again, which is really nice. 
Now over here, you're gonna have your outside kitchen. So this will come with a Suburban Elite Series griddle, which is in that box, a simple dump sink, and a little mini refrigerator. So as you can see right there. Right here is gonna be your uh, spray port for the sink there. You've got cable and power for an outside TV. This is a tandem axle trailer with the black aluminum wheels, which is a new for 2022 feature. You're gonna have the triple step more ride step above steps. There's a light behind that surveyor logo too. So it kind of acts as a step light. Friction hinge door. I wish they would put a uh, window in the entry door. And then you've got the larger entry assist handle there as well. Now surveyor, does use the Asdale composite sidewall panels. So the nice thing about those is they're waterproof sidewalls in a sense. And they use that on their front wall, their back wall, their sidewalls, and all the way around their slide boxes. So this is the product in the industry that has that uses the most Asdale out of pretty much anything. A lot of people only use it on their sidewalls, not the rear wall or slide out boxes or the front wall. So I really do appreciate that they're going the extra mile. Again, you're going to have that 80 watt solar panel up on the roof, all LED tail and marker lights, bumper for your stinky slinky, spare tire and spare tire carrier. And then you've got a ladder to get up on the fully walkable uh, PVC roof. That's going to have a limited lifetime warranty on it, which is really nice. And you can see that you've got your backup camera prep up there as well. Now, right here, I'll go ahead and show this. So here is Surveyor's YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram channels. So uh, Surveyor owners, feel free to share any pictures or anything. And that's how also you can find out more information about this product. Now, as we go over here, you've got your 30 amp service, your black tank flush, your city water connection, and then your cable and satellite hookups. And come on camera, focus. Now, if we drop down here, you can see that you, your gray and black tank dumps are right there. Notice how they're tucked up really tight to the frame. I really do like that. It gives you more ground clearance that way. And let's see if I can do this without backing into this fifth wheel behind me. So, and then right here, you're gonna have your slide out. It is prepped for the Solera slide awning toppers. I really like their graphics with the mountains and, and everything. It just looks good. And then up here, you're gonna have your six gallon gas and electric water heater with direct spark ignition, the other side of your pass through storage and your fresh water fill. So with that being said, that is going to wrap it up for the 2022 Surveyor Legend model 19, or nope, 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 that's the trailer behind us, 202 RBLE. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you have any questions, or if you'd like pricing and availability, I will put a link down below where you can check the price at any time on our website. You can also feel free to post, or uh, Oh my gosh, I can't talk. You can also put any questions down in the comment section down below. I'll also post all of our contact information, including our email address and phone number in the description below, as well as at the beginning of this video where you can check that out at any time and give us a call if you have any questions. Remember at Custom RV, we don't do any hidden dealer fees. We leave those up to the big box dealers and we know that RVs are made for women so men can go camping. All right, guys, we thank you very much for watching. If you do me a favor, hit that like button down below if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe and notification bell down below. That'll help keep you up to date with all of our new content. And I just wanna say thank you to every single one of you who's taken the time to watch our videos, comment, like, share, subscribe. We have passed a thousand subscribers, which is just awesome. I never thought we would get uh, have this much success with our YouTube channel and enough of that. But I just want to say thank you very much for everybody who has helped us grow and as a business and as a, as a YouTube channel, we really appreciate it. So with that guys, 
enough of me jabbering. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate every single one of you. Have a wonderful rest of your day and let's get out there and do some camping.